um, pretty much since the beginning of a reactor, there's been a reactor community. And, you know, within this community, people have been building their instruments, sharing them, they've been getting downloaded, and then someone grabs that, makes a modification of it, and uploads it again to the user library. And this is what I'm going to show you today, because it's uh, something that I did. And, um, yeah, basically, there are over 4,000 instruments now in the user library, and it's loads, and blocks, uh, well, Reactor 6 came out. Um, I think about a month ago, and now there are already 140 or 150 uh, new blocks patches there as well. So what Reactor is probably famous for is most famous for the sound generators, right? So it's famous for the synthesizers, for the effects, you know, the engines, the granular engines, all of that stuff. But what it's actually not so well known for are the sequences. Yeah, so the user library has some really, really cool tools to, which allow you to basically trigger sounds in interesting ways. So um, especially if you're interested in things like polyrhythms. Yeah, so I love working with polyrhythms. Um, I'm a musician, but I play the drums a little bit. I'm not that good. I couldn't physically play this stuff. So I want to use sequences to enable me to do that. Okay, so... Can you see him up? Yeah, you can. All right, so what we have up here is actually something that I downloaded from the Reactor user library a couple of days ago. I've been, I've been using it for a while. Uh, this is called the Eucalydian Sequencer, and this one here has actually already gone through quite a few incarnations. So if you, go, if you look for it on the user library, you'll find a few of them. This is not the original. The original was made uh, by a user called Normalized. And this one was downloaded and modded and re-uploaded, and this is done by someone called Benjamin uh, Kishhofer. Yeah, so I'm going to show you this ensemble, and then I'm going to show you afterwards uh, what I did with it. Okay, so I'm just going to press play. And yeah, first of all, just focus on the first sequencer. I've got Reactor loaded in my DAW. It's Ableton, as you can see. I've got it loaded as a VST. And it's got three sequences in it, and they're all obviously sequences don't make any sounds, right? So I've got it connected to another instrument called Steam Pipe. And I'm just going to press play. And turn up the volume. All right. So this is the original example that he uploaded. It's this marimba ish sound that you can hear, and you can see in the first one, this is basically what we're hearing, yeah? The cool thing is, you can change the speed. You can change everything, really, so that's going to make it a bit faster. I'm added the second one now. Now I'm going to add the third one. So what you can see is that these are all running at different speeds using uh, different time divisions, yeah? So they're all using different time signatures. And it's really, really, really easy to set up. I can basically just have as many of these as I want, I send them to an instrument and, you know, super fast, I'm creating poly polyrhythms on the fly. So that's really nice, um, but I actually want to do something a little bit different. So I made a few mods uh, together with a colleague and I. Um, I wanted to do a few different things. So I've got this keyboard here and what I wanted to do was to create patterns, yeah, for my sounds different sequences that I like, and I wanted to assign them to the keys. Can you see my keyboard? Yeah, I wanted to assign them to the keys on my keyboard that I've actually got color-coded here, yeah? So, that was one of the things I wanted to do. I didn't, there's no sound coming out of this keyboard, it's just to uh, basically change patterns. That was one thing that I wanted to do. The other thing I wanted to do is, I wanted to use these po this polyrhythmic sequencer with VST tracks in my DAW, yeah? I, it's great, the, the example that he uploaded using it all within Reactor is super cool, but I actually want to do something different. I want to have sequences going to all of my different instruments in my DAW. So that's what I did. If you just bring my computer back up. Cool, so what you can see, I've got the sequence on, this le on the left, um, it's the blue one, is basically just triggering a bass drum sample, yeah? It's very, pretty simple, there's a track with a bass drum sample in there, and that's being sequenced by, the se by this one on the left. The one on the right in red is also a sequencer, and that's sequencing um, my hi-hat, so pretty simple stuff. And I just re let them run together. You're gonna hear that they're pretty much doing exactly the same thing. 
Yeah, so you can see my bass drum's running a quarter note, uh, half notes, four stats, and so is my hi-hat. And now what I can do is, I just said that I set up the keyboard so I can switch through different presets using the keys, and that's what I'm gonna do. So if I just press a key on my keyboard, I can change the speed of the hi-hat, make it very fast, start adding different time divisions. And you know what? I'm gonna add some oomph to that bass drum. All right. So I can actually also change the pattern of the bass drum, right? So I've got that already set up. They're running at different speeds with different time divisions. That was pretty easy to do. And I've actually got this sequencer on the right going to a few different instruments. So I'm just gonna start bringing them all up now. I can add some effects if I want. It's completely up to me. All right. And now you know, I've got more sequences in my session, so I'm just gonna bring them all up. I can add reverb to all of that, and, and I can mess around with the patterns and just go through all the different ones I want to have. And if I will show you what's happening on the keyboard, uh, on the computer, are all the sequences that are now running in my session simultaneously all right so these are all running polyrhythmically I can add effects I can trigger as many different patterns as I want and I can do that all just by playing the keys on the keyboard it's really really ridiculously easy to set up I feel almost bad showing it um, this is something that uh, is going to be really interesting to lots of different users. So, first of all, like I said before, if you're interested in polyrhythms and just creating more interesting, you know, time divisions and things like that, using that for your music, this is a perfect way to do it. And I did all of this without playing, inputting a single MIDI note. I didn't play a single note. This was all run by the sequences that are running in the background. So that's great for that sort of stuff. Um, it's great for performance scenario. You can get, you can use this MIDI control, any MIDI controller really, to just trigger the um, different patterns that you have. You can have all of your effects and all the weird time divisions set up on the controller. And really, the mod is the whole reason I'm showing you this is because the original was uploaded, then it was downloaded. Someone made some things to that which I liked, so I downloaded it. Then I made a few modifications to it so that it suited for what it was more suitable for what I wanted to do. And I'm going to re-upload that tomorrow. And hopefully someone's going to download that and do something interesting with that as well and then put it back on the into the user library. So this is the whole point of the community is to do this, is to share the work that you make and your creations, because this is what basically keeps it alive. Yeah, so thanks. Thank you. So...